Hey, what's going on everyone? Today's the 4th of September 2023 here to talk about Algorand real quick. It's been about four days since I did a video and I didn't drop a price prediction off the charts. You guys can tell from what we talked about on that particular video on that day on the 1st of September. We wanted to see whether or not the market buyers were going to continue to hold support in Algorand and thus far they've done a great job. But I must admit that there's still some selling and some weakness that I'm seeing on the chart, which is why I'm coming through. To talk about it today so let's go to get into it let's look at the market in algorand real quick on the weekly time frame because we are starting out on a new trade week this is what the price action ended up being on last week does that look bullish to you because to me it doesn't look bullish when you look at algorand here on the two weekly chart again it doesn't look too bullish in terms of where price has moved and where it came from here it is on the monthly time frame the month of august you guys can see that the price action in algorand continues to show lack of interest it seems like nobody wants to come in and purchase this cryptocurrency right now even traded all the way down here around a dime nine cents isn't that not cheap enough is the discount there or not where's the market is the market not here at nine cents neither because if it's not then we need to be prepared to see algorand continue to go to the downside and zooming out the chart the next area will be all time lows off of this Binance exchange. You guys can see that we're already trading at lows, which was on March the 1st, 2020. This is what a depression looks like. When you see a market at one point in time was trading at around $3, $3.50 when it first was launched off Binance. And now you're at all time lows in about three years. That's a depression. What will it take for more life to be revived into this cryptocurrency? I have no idea. I mean, because many people has tried scaling solutions as a way to try to drum up demand. People have tried to utilize DeFi in cryptocurrency space to try to drum up demand. People then try to move to NFTs to try to drum up demand. Usage is what's going to cause these cryptocurrencies to inevitably become more valuable. If no one wants to come in and utilize these thousands of altcoins that's available today, then the only direction that it can go is down. And we're kind of getting that right now in Algorand. I know many of you are diehard Algorand fans, but let's face the music. It is what it is. The market doesn't look bullish. Take a look at this market in Algorand on 330 minute chart. Again, it doesn't look too bullish here. The market had opportunity to continue to go higher on this 330 minute bar. And as you guys can tell, it was nothing but selling. It wasn't no fanfare. Here it is on the three hour chart. You guys can even see it right here where the selling came through. These charts don't lie. This was your indication that the market was weak in Algorand. And look where the market currently is trading at now. Take a look at this on the seven. Okay. Let's look at this on a longer time frame. Let's look at this like on the 13. And again, I'm, I'm not bullish. Yeah, I'm not. But I must admit that even though I'm not bullish into the market in Algorand, we can still see buyers approach the market in Algorand down here. We've already identified it. So I'm going to put on a target. I am going to look for the market in Algorand to go lower. And this is going to be my first target right there around 90 cents. That's it. Now, there's an area right here too that I can tell could be a location to where buyers can show up as well too. So it's pretty close to where the market already is. That could be a last wish and hope for the market to see at least a move to the upside. See, I'm already giving you a heads up and they're trying to tell us that we cannot predict where prices are going to move. We can actually see the market in the algorithm come down here and then begin to go higher. All right. So I gave it to you. Let's go ahead and put this on the chart and we'll be finished. I don't want to do that. So let me go ahead and get rid of it. I want to look for the market in Algorand to continue to drift to go lower. That first target we're already trading around there now. So it's not going to be a lot like 0.092. That's less than 1%. I get it. But I also want to be aware that we don't have too far to go down in order for us to actually see buyers approach the market. That's the first area. My second target. It's going to be around nine cents, which is around 2.9% move there. And then 
anywhere outside of that would just have to be profit okay so let's just take it to like eight and a half cents anywhere outside of that so I'm going to extend these two lines here so that we can be aware as to where we're suspecting where we're looking for buyers to show up. It's not saying that they will because we have been in this downturn into the market algorithm for such a long period of time that it's going to take a lot than these two support areas to really hold the market. We need to see volume. We need to see strength at these two horizontal lines. If we get it, then we understand that the market is becoming more bullish. If we don't, we already got our idea. All right, so welcome to the channel, everyone. Hit that like button, so you can also subscribe to the channel. Everyone else is out here trying to give you all the FOMO, give you the FUD, give you the bells, give you the whistles, give you the unicorns, give you the rainbows, give you your ponies. And this is not what Price has done in Algorand. Out of everybody who continually try to drum up positive news, why in the world would Price still go down? Because the market doesn't care about the news like that. It cares about making money, period. So give me your thoughts. Make sure you subscribe, share the video, and also like the video because we definitely want to make sure that people are in tune with what the market ultimately is trying to do. Make sure you maintain profitability and as always, trade different.